fans, my name is Underdog MLB and welcome to this opening day Cubs recap. This is a brand new thing I'm going to be trying out for this 2021 season where after every game I will try to pump out a short three or so minute recap of that day's game. I hope you guys are looking forward to this series as much as I am. So let's get started with this opening day game, which sucked. Cubs lost 5-3, to three, which on paper doesn't sound terrible, but they lost to the worst team in baseball, and from watching the game, it was not nearly as close as the score would suggest. First, we'll start with Kyle Hendricks. He gave up three runs in three innings and also walked three batters, the first time he has walked more than two in a game in about two years. This obviously isn't the Kyle Hendricks we know and love as his game has been about control and movement and he's one of the best in the game at it. To me, it looked like Hendricks wasn't being very aggressive and working around people and maybe didn't have the best of control of his fastball. But the professor has a very long track record of success, so I have confidence that today was just a fluke. Next, we got to look at new Cub Brandon Workman. Definitely someone who has a lot of talent as he was a top pitcher in baseball in 2019, but he sucked in 2020 and was not great today. He didn't seem to have a lot of control, facing four batters and walking two and allowing hard contact against the other two batters. After Workman, Rex Brothers got out of the jam in the fourth and started the fifth inning. Brothers had a great spring and I was impressed by him today as he seemed to have good command of his pitches and his fastball got up to 97. Jason and Adam, who impressed last year, had control issues today. He walked two and hit a batter in an inning of work but didn't allow a run. Daniel Winkler then pitched an inning and two thirds allowing a walk and an RBI double. He didn't look horrible but neither he nor Adam looked like the guys who were anchors in our pen last year. Andrew Chafin worked two outs and allowed two runners in the eighth inning. And as much as I love that mustache, I don't think Chafin is capable of being a high leverage guy in our pen. The MVP Ryan Tapera faced two batters, walked one, and got a strikeout. Just wasn't enough for me to get a good read on him today. And finally, the last man out of the bullpen was Alec Mills who's going to be a big piece this year, either in the pen or in the rotation. He looks sharp, striking out one and being the only pitcher today to not allow a walk. On offense today, the Cubs were very discouraging. Only getting one hit and striking out 11 times in the first seven innings is not a recipe for winning this division. You need to put the ball in play to win baseball games. Eric Sogard off the bench looked like probably our best hitter today, grounding out sharply and hitting a double in his two at-bats. I also love Wilson Contreras' aggressiveness as he single-handedly manufactured a run in the third inning by reaching on an error, sealing a base that he probably should have gotten thrown out on and advancing to third on the throwing error, and then scoring on a sack fly. Defensively, we were a bit sloppy. David Bodie made a mental error in the third by allowing Adam Frazier to reach in a routine ground ball to second just because he took too long to field it. In the fifth inning, Jacob Stallings hit an RBI double where he could have maybe thrown out the runner at home if Baez made a good throw from the cutoff, but instead he missed badly. On the Adam Frazier RBI double in the seventh, Hap and Peterson were playing really shallow and maybe could have had a play on it if they were playing normal depth. So overall, this was a really discouraging game. I'm not one to normally read too much into opening day, but this is very reminiscent of the September and early October collapses the Cubs have had the last three years, where the offense just isn't there. There's a lot of talent in this lineup and in the pitching staff, but they're also capable of striking out 13 times and getting two hits like they did today, and walking 11 and letting the Pirates strand 15 men on base. Keep in mind, they did this against the Pirates, the worst team in baseball. They will bounce back from this game. I just hope this type of performance is the exception and not the norm. We'll see what happens when the Cubs play the Pirates at Saturday at 120 Central. I'll see you guys after that game.